The following segment is sponsored by Wisconsin Cheese. This is American Cheese Month, perfect for creating artisan cheese bites and pairings that will elevate any spring-summer gathering. Here to help is cookbook author, recipe developer, and food writer Maricel Salazar, who is partnering with Wisconsin Cheese. Welcome to the show, Maricel Salazar. How oh are you? Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Kaylee, for having me. How are you? I'm doing so good. Cheese is my favorite, and a great gathering is also my favorite, so let's get started. <laughs> What's the secret for creating a memorable gathering? Well, you know what? It is just like you said. The answer, of course, is cheese. And it is American Cheese Month coming up this May. I am so proud to have partnered with Wisconsin, the state of cheese, because cheese makes the world a happier, tastier place. I just learned that Wisconsin makes almost half of the nation's specialty cheese. They have over 600 cheeses, more than 1,200 makers. It's incredible. So when you're at your grocer, look for the proudly Wisconsin cheese badge on packaging or check out the Welcome to Wisconsin campaign. And I think we're about to find your next favorite cheese pairing today. Sounds delicious. So what is a tasty recipe to get us started? Oof, okay, it's spring, things are getting hot outside. I love using fresh ingredients with rich flavors like this Belle Joyosa burrata. I love pairing this Wisconsin beauty with some granola, a little bit of blackberry, and a fresh sprig of mint. I actually had this for breakfast, so it is a perfect daytime bite with a little bit of higher protein content. You are making me so hungry, I'm going to the local grocer and getting that tonight, for sure. How do yes. you recommend turning a typical crowd pleaser into something extra special? Ooh, okay, I'm a classic girl. Cheddar cheese is my favorite, and I think it's a favorite for a lot of folks, too. I love a Wisconsin cheddar. And you know it's premier quality when you see that Wisconsin, proudly Wisconsin badge on the packaging. Today I'm working with a 15-year-old aged Wisconsin cheese, putting it on a stack with dilly beans, which is a pickled bean, some fried onions, and almonds. Graduation season is coming up, so serve this at your next party for a savory bite that really packs a punch. Marisol, you're making me so hungry. <laughs> do you, do <laughs> I know, you have, me too. Right? Do you have a suggestion for a unique bite as well? So I'm a food and travel writer, and I love to bring my adventures back home with me. So we're going to do that today, just without all the travel. Hustalipa. Hustalipa is commonly referred to as bread cheese in Scandinavia. Because of the crust, it kind of looks like toasted bread. I like to set this on toast with orange marmalade. And while we're on this adventure, international culinary spree, Wisconsin's Odyssey feta style cheese made with cow's milk for traditional tang, put this on a pear slice with citrus ginger jam, microgreens, and a black pepper. Well, I love cheese because it's so versatile. So you got to talk about the sweet treats. What do you have for okay. suggestions for I that? I got you. Sweet tooth <laughs> is me. Sartori black pepper, Bella Vitano. Like to add a slice of this to meringue, raspberry, grate some orange zest on top. And you know what? We have Wisconsin's Wood River Cheddar Gruyere. It's a fusion of cheddar and Gruyere with some Biscoff, sour cherry, and a little bit of rosemary to finish us off. Yum. Okay, where can we go for more information? Yes, for more recipes, learn about Wisconsin's cheesemakers, head to wisconsincheese.com, follow them on social at Wisconsin Cheese, or check out your local grocery store. We're in 98% of stores nationwide. That is so wonderful. Thank you so much for being on the show, Chef Marisol. Thank you so much. Y'all have a good one, Kami.